Hey, this is Grover with Old Ones with Dice. A few months ago, I did a video about this. This is the Elegoo ABS 2.0. Uh, I was finding that I had to go up to almost five seconds per layer to get good results printing this, which is more than the generally is recommended on their exposure charts. Um, once I got up to that five second per layer on my Elegoo Saturn II, I had perfect results. Excellent detail, nearly 100% success rate on my prints. I was really happy. Now this stuff, you know, roughly, you know, on Amazon, I gotta be careful about naming specific prices, but you're looking around 30-ish, $35 for a one liter bottle. Now, I have been keeping an eye on another resin. That is this, this is the Sunlu. ABS like. Now what caught me is this comes in up to two liter bottles and those two liter bottles run normally in the $50 range currently as of summer 2023 and they do go on flash deals where you'll see this $35 for a two liter bottle. I've, tr I've gone through four liters of this stuff now. Actually this bottle is probably I guess three quarters empty right now. Been printing up some stuff and I'm, well, I haven't done a full head to head on these two. I think I'm ready to say some initial results. Uh, I'm really impressed. Uh, it took me, I'm running 4.75 seconds on my layer heights. Uh, again, this is an Elegoo Saturn, the first generation. Um, I tend to probably overexpose because What's most important to me is getting a successful print. There's nothing worse than having a nine hour print coming down, realizing some of your supports failed and not only did you just waste all that time, now you got to clean out your vat. I'm willing to sacrifice a little bit of my detail in order to get uh, successful prints. Now, giving an example of what I'm getting with this print, this is a Space Elf Power Tank that I printed up. This is about a nine hour print. Yeah, maybe eight hours. And you can see the detail looks pretty darn good. One of the, now this stuff is also extremely flexible. I don't know if you can see this antenna flexing here. Um, that's more than I've seen in any other resin. Now let's take a look at, these are some individual little Base Elf Guardians that I 3D printed. I mean, look at that. That's not going to, I mean, you have to try to break that. Um, this is flexible to the point where I might even have some difficulty painting it because the brush might actually flex it, but this stuff is going to be durable. And these are fully support, these are fully cured, uh, probably about six minutes in the UV in the wash and cure, I'm fully confident these are cured. And that flexibility is amazing. Here's a turret, and you can see just how much flexibility is in there. The other thing I noticed in terms of the softness, unlike pretty much any other resin I've ever worked with, I can use a knife, I can cut it. Um, let's, let's find another model. This is the Sunlu the light gray. Actually, it's normal gray as opposed to the dark gray. This piece here is a separate print. Uh, this particular fin. And in order to get it to fit perfectly, I needed to shave a small amount inside there. And it cuts. This cuts like plastic. Um, I haven't had a chance to drill it out, but the turrets for these guns, I'm probably going to drill holes for magnets. So, I'm really impressed. Again, we got some flexibility on these things. These are not brittle at all. And here we go, we got, we got that antenna. I mean, this is amazing. Now, gut instinct without, I have to say this, just initial, the details seem maybe slightly less crisp than with the Elegoo resin, but definitely plenty of detail. Uh, let's see, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, but I think there's plenty of detail on this model. 
Now the downside with this material is because it's so soft, I do find that as the supports are pulled off, it tends to take out a little bit more. Um, you might be able to see on the bottom of this tank, there are some little gouges that came out. Now I can fix this in post. Honestly, it's a vehicle. It's sitting on a tabletop like this, so I'm not real worried about it. These guys, you know, potentially I might be a little worried, but honestly, now that these guys are printed, cured, I'm really happy with this. And this is definitely gonna be my go-to resin that I'll be using for printing miniatures from now on. If I need something where I need, make sure I have the most detail, I might have another vat ready to go with the Elegoo because I do think it's a little bit finer detail. And again, that could just be, you know, it's fully possible. That's just my settings. And I need to tweak those settings more. But for the most part, between the cost and the flexibility, um, this is definitely what I'm going to be using from now on. So I'm waiting for the next sale to go on so I can pick up a couple more uh, bottles of this because, I've, like I said, I've almost gone through four liters and I'm really happy. So until next time, um, you know, this has been Grover. If you have any comments, if you've used this resin, if you've compared it yourself to the Elegoo, let me know. Let me know what you think. All right, next time.